Hi there, guys. So, just as I finished off the video I just did about Zubamende or Thubamende, whichever way you pronounce it, um, I've seen a few other things just pop up, which I thought I'd just bring to your attention as well. So, first off, we've the both for a bit Ciro Mano based. So, first off, he's had his two pence into the whole Zubamende thing, basically saying that Liverpool are still working on Martin Zubamende deal, pushing on player side. Liverpool aware of Sociedad, active talks with Zubamende, trying to keep him at the club. Real Sociedad would also offer him a new deal if he ends up staying, but Liverpool are still there. Obviously, they're playing a game tonight. If he doesn't feature in that, I think that that um, signals good move that he's up for a, a move to Liverpool and that it's actually going forward a little bit because there's no way that they would risk him getting an injury uh, and scubbering that deal. Even if he still does play, it's not necessarily a bad thing. But, you know, he may play for like 20 minutes or something. It depends, doesn't it? Um, but there's, if the deal's not close, there's no way they would pull him out of that because um, then it doesn't really add much to their leverage of trying to keep hold of him, especially if you think that Liverpool are not going to pull that release clause um, or trigger it, should I say. Then, you know, look at my last video of the recent report that's come out of Spain. I don't know if I believe it or not, but it is very much an FSG thing, so I could kind of see that happening, do you know what I mean? So let's just leave it there with that. But yeah, probably the next 24, 48 hours, you might have a bit more of a clear picture of what's going on with Zubamende. Anyway, the point in this video, guys, is Romano has also said this. Now, he said this on his playback, on his, uh, you know, his transfer video that he does. He seems to do these on a, an app called Playback now first, then he puts them out on YouTube a little bit later on. But this is from an aggregator account, which gets all the Liverpool news there, um, Anfield Talk. So basically, it says here that Liverpool have been presented the opportunity to sign Mamadashvili. Now, <laughs> I did a video on this the other day, basically saying that Liverpool are looking at getting this lad to solidify the goalkeeper future because they make they think that Allison may only stay there for one more year. They'd bring this lad in and then loan him back out again, which is what Fabrizio Mano is also saying here. Uh, basically saying that a dis final decision is to be made whether they want to sign him and the player is open to joining Liverpool. And then again, as mentioned the other day in my video, he would go out on loan um, rather than stay at Liverpool because they'd obviously have Allison and Kelleher. My question behind that is, is if you were Kelleher, surely you'd be annoyed about that regarding everything, thinking, well, why am I not going to become number one straight away? Why are you going out to buy some money, spend some money, sorry, <laughs> on another goalkeeper? Albeit, I think this lad is a little bit younger than Kelleher, so maybe Kelleher would come number one. But end of the day, guys, as harsh as this may sound, you've got to take sentiment out of um, football sometimes. And this guy is a very, very good goalkeeper. Um I did the whole stats thing on my last video again. Go give that a watch um, and you'll be able to see it. But he, he came across really well at the Euros. He has had a really good season at Valencia. He's got a really good save um, stats as well, guys. So I, for one, would not raise any eyebrows if this happened. I think this would be a good signing. My only problem would be is if we ended up spending 30 million on this goalkeeper and we didn't sign a centre-back, then I would have a problem you know, this should be somebody that would bring in as an opportunistic signing, as Liverpool said them. Well, Richard Hughes said themselves, this is an opportunity that I don't think Liverpool can miss out on. And I would kind of hope that they kind of get the deal done, guys. Right then. So that is it for this video. Please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below to let me know your thoughts on what I've just gone over. And I'll catch you in the next one.